Hi. In this video, I will help you to learn how you can import FortiGate firewall image in EVENG simulator. First of all, you must have VMware workstation software installed on your desktop or laptop. Also must have EVENG simulator installed on top of VMware workstation. If you are new to this and haven't installed or used the VMware workstation and EVENG simulator, please do watch my previous video for more information. I will leave the corresponding video link in the description box for your reference. Let's see how you can import FortiGate firewall image in simulator. To import the image in the simulator, you need to have SFTP software installed on your desktop or laptop. It could be any software like FileZilla or WinSCP. For your reference, I will be using WinSCP software to upload the image in the EVENG simulator. You must remember a few things before uploading the image in EVENG. For example, what would be the directory or path where to upload the FortiGate firewall image? Also, does EVENG simulator supports raw image? Are any guideline to be followed before uploading the FortiGate firewall image in EVENG simulator? The EVENG simulator provides the flexibility to support variety of images, however, it doesn't mean all the images can be loaded in same folder or raw image can be used in EVENG simulator. So you need to find the right folder for the FortiGate firewall image. The EVENG simulator usually stores all KVM supported images in KEMU folder, however, the image cannot be stored directly in KEMU folder. The EVENG simulator provides the flexibility to create dedicated folder for each vendor images, and folder name must meet the guideline according to EVENG software. So, first thing is very clear, you need to create a folder in KEMU folder for FortiGate firewall image. Another important point is, the EVENG simulator doesn't support raw image, and if you somehow imports the raw image in write folder, then it won't be functional anyhow, because the image will not be readable by simulator. So this part is also clear, you need to convert the raw image into specific format, so that the image will be operational in simulator. Let's see how you can import the image in EVENG simulator and make the image operational. Open VMware Workstation and turn on the EVENG simulator. Wait until you can see the IP address for EVENG simulator on the screen. You can see the EVENG simulator have received an IP address from the DHCP pool. Now open WinSCP software and fill the required information, like IP address of the EVENG simulator and login credentials for root login. The default username is root and the default root password is eve. Leave the remaining things unchanged. Verify the information supplied for SFTP connection for EVENG. If you are sure the information supplied are correct, click on the login button. It will usually provide the access for the root directory of EVENG software. Now what you have to do is, you have to browse the path where you need to upload the FortiGate firewall image. I have already explained everything about folder naming convention and image naming convention. If you are still unsure about the path or directory and naming convention of the image and folder, Please visit the EVENG website for more information. Let's verify the things one by one. Click on documentation. Now you will see multiple options in left hand side panel. Click on the option supported image. You can see the simulator supports variety of images for multiple vendors. And if you scroll the page little bit down, you will notice the simulator also supports FortiGate firewall images. Now at the left hand side, click on the option, Kemu image namings. The first thing you will notice, it will tell you where to store the image in the simulator. It also has some other guidelines that need to be followed. As I told you, the software won't allow you to import the image directly in the Kemu folder. You have to create a folder for the respective image and then you can import the image in the folder. Let's see what could be a folder name for the FortiGate firewall image. 
scroll the page little bit down and you will see the folder name that can be used for FortiGate firewall image. One thing to be noticed. Before the dash or minus symbol, these characters must be same. And post the dash or minus symbol, it could be version number or build number or anything. So you have finally figured out the directory path where you have to store the image. Also, folder name that helps to operate the FortiGate firewall switch in EVENG simulator. Now what could be the FortiGate firewall image name to be used so that FortiGate firewall can be operational properly in simulator? Just scroll the page little bit up and you will see the simulator supports QCOW2 image or KVM based images. A part of QCOW2 images, it does not support any other extension in this simulator, especially when you are importing the image in Kemu folder. You can verify the same. Now click on the option, How To. Scroll down the page a bit down and click on FortiGate Firewall. You can see how you can handle FortiGate Firewall image and what can be the image naming convention and some other details. Just to let you know, I have QCOW2 image for FortiGate Firewall and will import the same in Simulator. I will share the drive link for your reference and you can download the image using the drive link. Now back to the WinSCP software, let me quickly log in EVENG Simulator using the root credentials. What you have to do is, in the left hand side section, browse the path for your FortiGate firewall image, and right hand side section, browse the path for Kemu folder. Under the Kemu folder, create a new folder. Make sure, the naming convention for the folder should be correct, as explained. Once the folder is ready, upload the QCOW2 image in it. You can simply drag the image from your local directory to folder. Once the image is uploaded in the folder, open a terminal session for simulator and execute this command. Please execute this command at least two or three times. Now, it's time to validate whether the FortiGate firewall image is functional in EVENG Simulator. Log in on EVENG Simulator. The default username is admin, and default password for this is Eve. Now, create a new lab using any jargon, and click Save. Right-click on the white space, and click on Node. Scroll the template section down, and search the FortiGate firewall. If the FortiGate firewall image section is grayed off, it means there could be an issue with image, folder naming convention, or image naming convention. Please watch the video carefully and repeat the process. You can see, it displays two images in this firewall section. One is with older version, and other one is with latest version. Let me select the latest image for testing because the old image had already been tested. If everything is okay. Load the image and build the topology. I am using this design to test the image. Let me quickly build this topology and will turn on the device one by one. Let me quickly explain the design. The FortiGate firewall is connected to a layer 2 switch, and the layer 2 switch is connected to a bridge. The bridge usually will provide the internet connectivity to firewall, and this will help the firewall to download the trial license from the FortiCloud Center. Now it's time to turn on the device one by one. If the firewall device does not turn on, 
it means there could be an issue with image folder naming convention or image naming convention. Please watch the video carefully and repeat the process. If everything is OK, open the terminal window and access the device remotely. The image boot up process will take some time and provide the prompt. Luckily, there is no issue reported with the firewall image and it appears the login prompt. The default username is admin and does not have any password. As soon as you enter the username, the firewall asks you to set up a password for the device and same password can be used to access the firewall. Now it's time to push the initial config on FortiGate firewall and will access the firewall from the browser. Here, the firewall IP address is 192.168.1.75 and the gateway IP address is 192.168.1.1. The IP address will be assigned on the port number 1. Let's see how to prepare firewall for initial use. With the minimum configuration, we are able to access the firewall from the browser. However, it appears an error message, VM is not licensed, or license is invalid for current VM configuration. Upload a new license or reconfigure the VM. Since the firewall image is for lab purpose. I will go with evaluation license. Now what method to be followed to have evaluation license installed successfully in the firewall? To download the license from the FortiCloud, you must have an account on FortiCloud Center to download the evaluation license. Also your FortiGate firewall must have internet reachable. As soon as you enter your login credential, the firewall try to register itself at FortiCloud Center and download the license automatically. This process requires firewall to reboot. Let me do this for you and validate. You can now see, the device has successfully been registered on FortiCloud Center and downloaded the license. The same you can verify on the FortiCloud Center. You can see the device has been listed on FortiCloud Center. Even you can match the serial number of the device that is listed on FortiCloud Center. I hope you enjoyed the video. If the video is worth watching for you, then please subscribe the channel and leave your comments and I'll see you on the next video.